Okay guys, welcome to episode 5 of Newbies to Bricks. In episode 4 we got to a point where we imported a bunch of JSON files, uh, including this style guide, and we got to a point where we had all of the styles to create this style guide as CSS variables in Bricks Builder with zero other plugins for Bricks, uh, which would enhance Bricks anyway, I should say. So this is all just done with Bricks Builder. We saw that it takes quite a bit to change colors because every color has to be changed individually. Um, and we're going to look at advanced schema in the next episode on how that's so much better. But we've got to a point where we've got something that we can work with if this is the stage we want to be at. So I'm going to show you one last little thing while we're in this editor here. I use uh, WP Resets so under Tools WP Reset, and under the snapshots, I've created snapshots as I've gone along. So when I first installed WordPress, when I added bricks to it and did my basic settings, and then when I created some custom posts, not some custom posts, some uh, dummy posts using FakerPress, I created a snapshot. I'm now going to create one, which I'll call my uh, including uh, bricks. The framework. Call us whatever you like. So my including my bricks variable framework. So this is I'm done. I've got my style guide. I can use this quite happily now as a base starting point. So there's my extra snapshot here. Now that we've got this, I'm going to go back into WP Local and I'm going to right click on my uh, I'll call it Bricks FW for this particular instance. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to tell it to create a blueprint site. Looking for that, save as blueprint. And we're going to call this my Bricks FW blueprint. Okay, and it's going to take a little while. So it's going to go up and it's going to zip up everything and save it as a template ready to deploy. Um, now, I don't know about Mac users, but with Windows, users as they progress so windows 10 zipping and unzipping got slower uh, windows 11 it got even slower um, there's a utility i use called 7zip in the file browser um, which is probably 100 times quicker than the native windows uh, compressor so i'm not sure why that is but if you are on windows it just does take a little bit longer to compress files than it should so it's in the background it's basically taking our website and creating an archive of that ready to go. That was actually quicker than I expected it to be. So there it is there. We've got a blueprint. So if we go to the blueprints on the left-hand side here, we can see we've got one blueprint in there called uh, Bricks FW Blueprint. I'm going to deploy this out. I'm going to call this one, uh, deploy, so I'll go back, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. So to deploy it out, you click on the little plus down the bottom left. And then we want to, this time, instead of creating a new site, we want to create it from a blueprint, hit continue, Select the blueprint. You can have more than one blueprint if you have different setups. Uh, hit continue. I'm going to give it a name. We'll call this uh, Bricks. Uh, I'm going to actually deploy out to an AT test. ATFW. Okay, I'm going to call this Bricks ATFW. So I'm going to install Advanced Thema on the next one and show you how that works as well. So I'm going to call this my Bricks ATFW and clone from site or create from site, I should say. Let that go. I will do this all in real time so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how long it actually takes on a i7 Windows laptop. That extracting of that import is just should not take that long. Maybe this is the time I need to consider adding some elevator music or some jazz music like some of these guys do. Do 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 come on. Come on, come on. This should be done in seconds. It shouldn't be taking this long. It's just that built-in Windows extraction tool is just so slow. So you guys with Macs, you're lucky. 
in this case. All right, but it's still better than creating a compliance site from scratch with all your settings, isn't it? And now it should take about the normal time it does to uh, run up a new site now that it's got that extracted data. Oh. Okay, so I've got a black screen up because I've got my Windows user account control. So I'm going to hit yes. Okay, come on. Don't we get impatient over time? These tools save us hours of work. Yet when they take a few minutes to deploy, we get frustrated with them. Okay, that is deployed. Now I want to trust the certificate. So I've got a Windows account control, so you'll see a black screen, hit yes. And that's this site deployed. So basically we went from this blueprint site here to a brand new copy of that site by clicking a few, few buttons. So I'll hit WP Admin now, and we'll use the same login credentials. Okay, there we go. Now if I go to my pages, I'll just hit save on that. My pages, have a look at my style guide. It's all there. So this is a different domain to pre So it's deployed out to a new site. So if you're wanting to just play with things, you can deploy these out, um, play with them, blow them away when you finish. You can even use this to start a new client site and then use a migration tool to move it up to live, whatever you like. So that is the process for creating a Blueprint for site from this and deploying it out to a starter site. I'm going to leave this here because I'm actually going to clone this again. And then I'm going to do the next episode, which shows the advantages of using Advanced Schema for this kind of thing. All right, guys, if you like this kind of thing, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for listening.